Man, six touchdowns, huh? Is that something you ever dreamed of? You expect to do that? Um, I want to say I expected six touchdowns. Obviously, I just wanted to go there and get the win. And, I mean, I had four touchdowns the week before, and I was thrilled with that. So I just wanted to go out and drop one. Drop one's a tough place to play. I mean, they got, they got a tough field. I mean, they're good. They're fast. And their defense was solid. But uh, a bunch of those, once again, our own line, they got the push. And then some of them, I just walked in the end zone. And I, I would say it was mostly the O-line that deserves all the love. I mean, what is it like, you know, obviously you were on JV last year watching Wyatt do what he did and take the team to the state championship game. How, how excited have you been for this moment to take over? This it was, I've been waiting for a while now, but I also, I enjoyed Wyatt. I enjoyed watching. I mean, he helped a lot. He, he was a good leader. He, he was a good role model. And I think I base a lot of things that I do off of what he's told me and what he's done and watching film off him. So I think he's been like, a really good leader and role model for me. And he's right here in town, Coach was telling me. So, like, you ever able to just, like, ask him questions or anything like I that? Do, I do. I have him on snap. So, me and him are always chatting up after and before the games. And we're always just talking about. And he's telling me good job. And because, I mean, it sucks being going from, like, Wyatt and then just watching another kid do it. Like, because he wished he was still playing. You know what I mean? He wishes he was still out there. So, I mean, I'm just glad I could pass it on and, Keep doing, my, keep doing our thing. So how many touchdowns are you up to this year? Um, rushing? Or right if, all, I, how about, if, you, if you have the stats, I mean, sometimes these are hard for us to find. So I don't know. I think I rushing I have 12. Okay. Uh, passing I have two. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously Webb coming up, man. I mean, I, I remember being here for that playoff game mm -hmm. last year, and it just felt like whoever had the ball last was going to win, and your defense came up with that big play at the end. That was when, they big. Were, when they were rolling, uh, how uh, how excited are you for this matchup? I'm excited for it. I mean, if you were at the game last year, the atmosphere, I've never seen a high school atmosphere like that before. I mean, it was packed. It was it was bumping. I mean, the place was amazing. It was packed. Webb, it's a tough team to play every single year. I mean, their history. I mean, they're always special to play against. So we got to come out, bring our A game, and just execute. Just execute. Mesh point. We're talking. We were. I was looking at video with Chris Parker, our web guy, before we. He showed me this. He's like, watch how he reads the defensive ends, and in this case, against I think it was the Joppa film. That that split second where you're reading that guy and you're holding the ball, holding the ball, waiting for him to commit, and then going. How do you get so good at that? Why? I mean, why? He was the one that like taught me how to do it. It's all about footwork and uh, the chemistry with your fullback. So I mean, why helped me with that? He helped me. Just with the footwork, the chemistry, and part of it's on the fullback too. Like, just the mesh point, the pathway, everybody's got to be on the right track. And so that's how it all works out. Anything I didn't ask you about, uh, you know, what your, what's been the key to success here with this team this year? I mean, we're young. I mean, we got a bunch of, like, first-year starters. I'd say we're just hungry. We just, we, uh, we're just hungry. We, we love football. We love going out there, playing in front of our crowd. Our crowd's awesome. And we just we're just fired up. We're hungry this season.